back like we never left BDA and this episode was pretty much a do about nothing. We had a filler within a filler. The only reason why I'm reviewing this is because I love Itachi so much. But let's get into really what I took away from this episode. So Itachi, at this moment, he's a kid. He got skipped. He graduated at the top of his class. So obviously being the youngest in his squad and his team is going to be some jealousy, especially when you were placed with the second, the person that placed second in the class, a graduated second. And it's, it's interesting because right now Itachi is battling with himself. He knows what he wants to do, but then he's still trying to figure out what he has to do. He's seen all these people around him, like basically worried, worry about their own clans. They're not worrying about the village. They're worrying about their own clan. So now Itachi has this, this conflict. It's this internal conflict about whether or now he should worry about Uchiha or the Lee Village, Konoha. The thing is, I didn't know Itachi struggled with unlocking his Sharingan when he was younger. Like, would you expect someone like Itachi to be struggling with something like that? The thing is, he didn't know pain. That resonates because that's the same thing uh, Nagato told Naruto. You don't know pain. And Itachi, he realized pain when Tenma died. And Tenma died to the hands of, by the hands of Obito, which is interesting as hell. And it's like... Obito, I forget, I always forget that Obito is, you know, Kakashi's era, and he's older than Itachi, but I'm like, man, Itachi couldn't take Obito back then, but Obito, at that point, he was a monster. But Itachi realized pain, and it was it was a touching moment when he's there with Sasuke, and Sasuke is there like, um, Nissan, your eyes, and he, he unlocked his Sharingan, and I'm really excited for the next episode to see what exactly is going to happen. How, what else do we find out about Itachi that we did not know? Um, we find out that, you know, he has this chick and he struggled to unlock his Sharingan and that bothered him. And it's also the internal conflict about whether or not I should worry about my clan or the village. Most kids at that age, they're not thinking that way. They're just thinking about following whatever someone older is doing, someone that they respect is doing. But Itachi is trying to figure it out on his own at that age. So I think that was really impressive. That just shows the growth and maturity of Itachi, which is basically leaps and bounds of the regular student, right? So Itachi continues to amaze. But let me know what you thought about this episode. I mean, the filler BS beside, like, whatever. We're just going to ignore that. What do you think about Itachi's conflict? How he's feeling about everything? How he's going about his business right now? Let me know what you thought. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. That would be dope. Have a good day, people.